What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here with another episode of Academia School Simulator. Now, if you guys haven't seen this, uh, you know, this uh, series on the channel yet, this is kind of like a prison architect slash rim world slash, oh, I don't know, uh, sim airport kind of style game. Just like the, the visual, um, the visual look of it is, is very reminiscent to those games that I just mentioned. Go ahead and put some of these concrete tiles down. Now, the thing that uh, that's different is instead of like running a prison or an airport, we're running a school here. This is a high school. It's called Freedom High, and that is, you know, I named it Freedom High. I am the superintendent, the principal, the head honcho. I'm the guy that determines how many students we have, how well they eat, uh, how much fun they have in the computer labs and the libraries, etc., etc. And essentially the goal is just to not only really make money, but to actually have your students graduate with the best scores. Freshmen need to graduate to be sophomores, sophomores to juniors, juniors to seniors, seniors to get the hell out of my school, right? So um, we're going to go ahead and continue. We're on the third school year. Uh, this is day one of the third school year. We have a brand new set of freshmen, which we have 50 freshmen at Freedom High. And then we have 68 sophomores, even though we can only really fit 50. And the reason for that is a lot of the sophomores from last year's class did not graduate. Uh, as a matter of fact, I want to say 18 of them didn't graduate. Hence, you know, 50 freshmen that graduated, 18 sophomores that didn't, gives us 68 sophomores. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see how the school handles having that excess amount of actual students that aren't really going to fit into our class. Um, so that's going to be interesting. We'll kind of have to keep an eye out on that. Um, we can't really kick them out of our school or anything like that, so we're just going to have to deal with it. Um, anyways, that being said, let's go ahead and see what we can do to improve our students' lives and what we can do to actually help them learn a little bit faster. If we go to the student tab over here, we can see freshmen are learning. Um, you know, it's still the first day of the school year, so their subjects here, their knowledge in those subjects is still pretty poor. However, their needs are not really being uh, met that well. Hygiene in particular is one of which is kind of lacking there. Um, bladder, I mean, we have the restrooms for them to use, right? We've got the fe uh, female and the male restrooms, which are kind of being shared between um, the workers and the actual students. Then uh, the food need is over here, which uh, as we can see, people are in there. We have Sergeant Novak in here eating. We have a few students just kind of hanging out, not really doing too much. Let's slow down time, too. Uh, resting. We have uh, students resting, resting, eating, resting, getting food, washing hands. You know what? Maybe we should put in some... Hmm. You know what? This is interesting. Let me test something out real quick. We are going to put a sink into the kitchen. Um, let's put some sinks down here and we'll see if people actually use those suckers hopefully they do that might actually increase our hygiene and then we can see the floors are absolutely filthy but we have plenty of janitors that should be able to go in there and clean that up pretty quick now it is you know what it's after 6 p.m. so the workers have gone home they're not gonna be putting in those sinks today however that should be one of the first things that they do tomorrow. Janitor over here leaving. We have a few janitors over here doing a little bit of overtime. They're leaving the map. Now it should be the next school day. No? Is there still a worker here? There we go. Somebody else is working over here. They're going to leave the map. Map's going to go to black. New school day is here. Year three, day two. Beautiful, beautiful. Janitors are going to be cleaning up the hallways as they should. The workers are installing those sinks. Hopefully these students will actually start using some of these sinks uh, to kind of wash their hands. Hopefully that will increase the hygiene score. Now we can see we have a bunch of students coming in here. Is anybody using these sinks? Anybody? I kind of understand why they wouldn't use them now. But hopefully like throughout the, sc the school day, you know, like during recess or during uh, lunch period or whatnot, they actually go down here and they actually use some of these sinks. Hopefully. Hopefully, that's that's the plan. <sighs> Janitors are kind of overwhelmed too with all the cleaning that they have to do. I'm thinking we're gonna have to hire more janitors. Uh, we do have some seniors in here now. We have the juniors over here too. 
Neither classroom is really full, but that's actually uh, that's actually better for us. Um, Forty-three transferees have arrived. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now we have one hundred and eighty-four students. We really have a max capacity of two hundred. Uh, fifty freshmen, fifty sophomores, fifty juniors, fifty seniors. But as you can see up there, uh, in this little like breakdown, we only have twenty seniors, forty-six juniors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but that's the way we really want it. We don't want to overwhelm our classrooms right now, especially given the fact that a lot of these guys probably won't graduate. And so then that will just kind of cause another issue that we have here with the sophomores. Now, it is lunchtime. Are a lot of these people going to be able to eat? Um, let's see. What are you doing? Going to drink water. You know what? Yeah, so we should probably put uh, getting a book, waiting for a spot to eat, going to eat, going to pick litter, eating, going to eat. You know what, we should probably put down some water fountains over here too. Let's check this out. Um, so uh, we'll go to all. You know what, and I kind of want to put down some bulletin boards too. Not exactly sure how they work or what they do. Uh, but let's go ahead and throw a few of those suckers down there. And then I want to give them the uh, water fountain. Kitchen sink, locker. Oh, we haven't done lockers yet either. Jeez, I'm completely slacking on that, huh? Wow, yeah, I, I completely forgot about that. Let's go ahead and give these guys some lockers. Oh, we'll do... Oh, we'll do a bunch of lockers over here along this one. And then, you know what? That might be enough to actually um, handle all of our... Let's see, so that's... There's four lockers in each one. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 40 lockers just right there. And then we have, what, uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Uh, so what did I say? 64. That's 64 lockers. That is not going to be enough for our entire uh, student body. But it is definitely going to be better. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see now. I was saying, too, that I want to give these guys water fountains. Which is definitely something that we should put into the cafeteria, right? So let's do, let's do a bunch of water fountains in here. Uh, we'll kind of spread those out just a little bit. And then let's go ahead and give them water fountains like throughout. Uh, we'll do a water fountain over here. Maybe we'll do a couple over here. Bam. Uh, we could do some over here by the uh, library. We can do some over here. Swing. Swing. We'll do one over here by the lockers. I'm sure that's going to be a popular hangout spot. And then hopefully we'll see if that works out for us. Are people going to use these? Yeah, it looks like students are definitely using those. Some of the workers are probably using those as well. And then, man, our school is just so filthy. We are definitely going to have to do more janitors, I'm thinking. Because right now, yeah, that school is just filthy. Just dirty, 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 dirty. I'm kind of curious, can we, um, let's see, quick game, main menu, save game, I would kind of like to be able to turn off the overlay, where it shows you like kitchen, cafeteria, um, I'd like to be able to see like this classroom over here looks nice, I don't really like having that zone area kind of hovering over that, but you know what, I don't think there's really anything we could do about that. How are we doing so far? Uh, the freshmen are, ooh, they're, they're doing pretty well in math. They're kind of struggling in history. Uh, the sophomores, huh, doing better. They're definitely doing better than they were last year. Juniors, um, it's hard to tell. It's only day two. Um, I think we would like really to be in the 20s for all of these, but we're not quite there yet. And then the seniors, they're struggling with history. Um, bladders, fine, energy, fun, food. Maybe we should give them that club area. Uh, the club area definitely helps with fun. But then, see, hold on. Why are these guys just hanging out? Resting, 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 resting. Why are you guys resting? I mean, you guys have your janitor's room over here. That's meant for you guys to rest. And there is a lot to clean up. I understand that. Uh, we're just going to have to hire some more, more janitors. 600 a day. Alright, you know what, we'll do, how many is that, 
that gives us 27 let's just go ahead for 30 janitors so we'll do three more they're gonna go home and then tomorrow I expect you guys to do a lot of work because there's look at that look at these hallways the hallways are absolutely filthy restrooms are filthy lots of garbage in the trash cans the cafeteria is just disgusting I mean look at that look at all those plates you know what we're probably gonna need to hire a few more uh, cooks as well how many cooks do we have right now uh, we have three cooks so let's do let's double that up one two three uh, double up the uh, amount of cooks that we have you know what, let's triple it one two three get a few more cooks in there and then um, how are we looking in the clinic we have our three nurses none of which are doing anything but that's probably because the students aren't in yet here they come 8 a.m. first period students are in some of these students are coming into the clinic let's go ahead and let's hire a few more okay three more nurses they should be able to help uh, take care of these students you know hopefully get them out of the clinic in and out pretty quickly and then not miss any uh, of the actual school day which 18 students today have not arrived because they are sick unfortunate but hey it happens I think this is a decent little start I mean we've got the uh, we've got plenty of capacity right and you know what I actually lied about our capacity we do not have room for um, 200 students because we don't have that other senior classroom in there that's something that we're gonna have to do here sooner rather than later but we still have a few days um, it's only day three of the school year we have 12 days to go or you know 12 days total so not nine more days to go um, that's something that we can focus on in the next episode um, which it's lunchtime people are coming down here hopefully those cooks are able to actually serve all these students hopefully lots of students are using these water fountains let's go ahead and give them more real quick objects water fountains uh, I want to make sure that no student goes thirsty I don't think I've seen anybody use the actual sinks down here though uh, some of these students are using the water fountains but nobody's using the sinks yet real quick last little glance over uh, freshmen sophomores health is going up for the sophomore up and down up and down the fun the fun is lacking so I'm thinking next episode we'll probably build that club zone and then we'll probably build a few more uh, restrooms for our students too. probably do some restrooms over here make them a little bit closer to the actual senior and junior classrooms anyways you know what guys that is going to be the end of this episode if you guys enjoyed the episode do me a favor hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already be sure to check out some of the other series on the channel like motorsport manager city skylines rimworld all that fun stuff hopefully you guys will enjoy it uh, until then i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys later bye